One of the questions I get asked the most often is, I'm just starting lifting, what program should I use? My answer is, it doesn't matter. Because that's not what a beginner should focus on. The beginner should focus on these things. First, establish the habit of going to the gym and enjoying it. So just get into the routine of going to the gym three or four times a week. And just doing that for two or three months is a win because you're gonna stick with it. Most beginners think here and they don't establish that here. Uh, so they are not ready for the program, they might not enjoy success, they stop going. So first of all, just get into a habit of going to the gym, including it in your daily routine. That goes without saying. But the most important thing a beginner, beginner needs to do is learning the basic movement patterns. I'm not necessarily talking about exercises, I'm talking about movement pattern. Remember, squat pattern, squat pattern, inch pattern, horizontal press, vertical press, vertical pull, horizontal pull. And you can also include unilateral lower body work. So the first job of a beginner is mastering these patterns efficiently. It might sound simple, but it really isn't. I mean, you have power lifters who are world class still working on their squatting technique. So just learning these patterns, the highest level, might take some time. You need to be properly coached. So that's the first thing because I see beginners all, I mean, all right, I have a confession to make. I'm really a woman. No. <laughs> I, I, recently, I, I've been doing a lot of training in a commercial gym. Actually, it's like the, the most commercial of the commercial gym. The reason I, I, I go there, first of all, well, it, it's like three minutes away from my house. I, I like to train here at the XPN Center because it has all the cool tools I need. But when I was dieting down for the photo shoot, driving 40 minutes to the center and 40 minutes back was just out of the question. So uh, there's a gym right next to my house, like four minutes away, and my wife and I go there to train once in a while. Second reason is the lighting is awesome and I look great in a tank top. And they also have free tanning beds. Wow, that's my heaven, right? Good lighting and tanning. Uh, so so I, I go there and I see these guys who are like 130 pounds on six feet, like zero muscle. And they're doing like 10 variation of curls. They, I mean, seriously, I, this dude, right? He was like 120 pounds. And he was like doing, and I swear to God, I, I had times to do like, Zercher squats, Romanian deadlift, T-bar row, and uh, I think it was barbell shrugs. So four exercises. And I went heavy on the Zercher squat, so it took me like 30 minutes to ramp up. All the while, that guy, 120 pounds, did like probably 10 different variations of cable crossovers. Of course, the guy had zero chest. But that's what beginners do nowadays. They major on the minor. They, they do, all kind of curls like this, like this, like this, like this, doesn't matter. A cross over here, cross over there, cross over here, cross over from the bottom here. But they don't do a bench press, they don't do a squat, they don't do a deadlift, they don't do a row, they don't do a chin up. That's what you need to focus on as a beginner. When I was a beginner, I started lifting for football, thank God. So really, I started squatting right off the bat, I started deadlifting, I bench press, all that stuff. When I was Following my first program, it was based on all the big basics three days a week. Then I switched on to Olympic weightlifting. Again, all the big basics. So the first 10 years of my life, all I did were the big basics before even thinking about doing like those curls and crossover and stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, that stuff has a place in a program to fix a weakness. But that guy is 120. He has no weakness because he has no strength need to build a big foundation first. But to be able to build that big foundation, you need to be efficient on the big lifts. Because if you're not efficient, you're gonna injure yourself or you can push yourself hard. So the first thing you have to do as a beginner is just practice, not train, practice all the big movement patterns. When you are efficient, you have to train 
the big movement patterns. And then you have to push them hard. And when you've been doing that for two or three years, you might do your wrist curl and your cable crossover, and you, 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 right? And as a beginner, learn to, I had a guy like, sent me a message on, on Twitter, and said, dude, well, he didn't say dude, he said, yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to have arms like yours, which is kind of funny because arms are my weakness. So what should I do for biceps? I said, well, just get strong in the big basics. His answer was, what are the big basics? Uh, forget it, forget it, all right? Just a beginner, learn to lift on the big basic movement patterns, become strong at them, and build a foundation first. Then think about the minors. <laughs>